in my last video i discussed the concept of privity of contract and out of five exceptions to this doctrine of privity of contract i all i have already discussed the exception of trust and agency in the last video i discussed that privity of contract simply means that no stranger to the contract can sue the parties to the contract with respect to any obligation and right arising out of the contract this simply this is the simple meaning of privity of contract that neither the parties to the contract can sue the stranger with respect to the contract or nor the stranger can sue the parties to the contract with respect to the contract now there are five exceptions to the concept of privity of contract i have already dis discussed the trust and agency and now i will be, i would be discussing the third exception third exception is family settlement family settlement with respect to marriage or maintenance privity of contract kehta hai ki koi bhi third party with respect to the performance of contract contract ke parties ko sue nahi kar sakta मगर अगर इफ एक फैमिली सेटलमेंट होता है एमोंग द मेंबर्स ऑफ द फैमिली विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू मेंटेनेंस ऑफ अ थर्ड पार्टी देन ऑल दो द थर्ड पार्टी इज नॉट अ पार्टी टू द फैमिली सेटलमेंट कैन सू can bring a suit for the performance of obligation undertaken under uh, under the family settlement isko ek example se matra the leading case on this exception is nawab khwaja muhammad khan versus nawab husaini begum and the same was decided by honorable bombay high court in the year 1910 now the basic facts of the case was that uh, son of this nawab nawab khwaja muhammad khan entered into the contract of uh, that the son of nawab khwaja muhammad khan was about to get married with uh, nawab husaini begum and at the time of the marriage nawab khwaja muhammad who was the father of the groom entered into a contract with the father of nawab husaini begum that is the father of the bride that he would pay kharchaye pandan that is called betel leaf expense that is a kind of maintenance to the bride from the date of the marriage in perpetuity and not only that he also charged some properties for the payment of that betel pen betel expenses that is kharchaye panda after some time the marriage was uh, took place in the year 1877 and till 19 1896 everything was fine but after that the relationship between the nawab husaini begum and his husband became sour and they separated and they started living separately <clears throat> consequently nawab khwaja muhammad khan who was the father of the husband or the father in law of nawab husaini begum stop paying the maintenance to nawab husaini begum 
who was obviously the daughter in law nawab khwaja muhammad khan now she brought a suit before a subordinate judge subordinate judge for enforcement of that family settlement between her father and her father in law consequently the subordinate judge dismissed her suit and she appealed appeal to honorable bombay high court now in bombay high court <clears throat> the appeal was contested mainly on the basis of the ground that since nawab husaini begum is not a party to the contract which was executed between her father in law and her, her father cannot enforce that contract the honorable bombay high court in 1910 allowed the appeal and held that that since this was a family settlement which was made for the benefit of benefit of nawab husaini begum she can enforce that contract against the, her father in law although she is not a party to the contract on the basis of and treated it as an exception to the privity of contract so we can see that any family settlement for the maintenance or marriage of a third person can always be enforced by a stranger or the beneficiary of that family settlement against the parties of the contract although the beneficiary or the third party was not the party to the contract so this now in this case the honorable bombay high court followed a british case that is quidel versus atkinson which was decided in the year 1861 and it was exactly based on the same fact in this case the father the father the father of the bride and the father of the groom at the time of the marriage decided to pay certain amount of monthly allowance to their son and their daughter consequently the father of the daughter died and the father of the the father of the bride died and the father of the groom also died and the bride that is the daughter the, the bride brought a suit against the executor of the will of her father in law for the allowance which was promised by the father of the bride and the father of the groom and in this case the honorable court held that that it was a family settlement entered into for the benefit of the daughter in law so so she has all the right to claim the performance of the contract and the executor of the will is bound to pay such allowance to the that girl or the bride 